up being a cat in there. <laughs> hey guys, um, this is Maya. Hi. Um, Maya Wolf, who I uh, spoke about earlier. Hmm. And we're, we're in Maya's home, which is, um, what kind of bus is this? Uh, it's a Ford 350. Um, it's a Goshen coach, so it used to be, I mean, it was specially made for kids. Um, so it's like air con and all that kind of fun stuff. Yeah, yeah, so it's like but, a big bus. Oh, but I will plug that it was a, a tour bus for some dear friends of mine. So for 10 years they toured with veggie oil powered, you know, vegan powered, whatever. Anyway, That's awesome. So it was their bus. Yeah, so it's veggie converted diesel bus. Mm -hmm. But it's like a like a bus that's meant to like transport people and it's now a home. And what, how do you say this river's name? Uh, on the Chica... Oh, I don't know. Chiquamus? Chiquamus. Chiquamus? I believe, yes. Chiquamus? Yes, I should know that. You should know that. Should know that. <laughs> That's okay. You didn't name it. So. I didn't name it. <laughs> I struggled well, we, with that earlier. We are in Squamish territories um, in Paradise Valley. Chicomas territory. So is Squamish territory. So Squamish Nation is, I can't even pronounce it and I apologize Shikomis. to anybody who is a Squamish Nation. But the, it's it's something to the effect of Squamish, which means mother of the wind. Ah. Uh, yes. It's quite windy in Squamish. It's quite windy in Squamish, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we're up here and we're having tea and. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I spent uh, most of my day with the girls and the animals and Mary. I always want to call her Molly. I call her Marie. Marie. It's Marie. Marie. And yeah. Yeah, she's a wonderful woman mm -hmm. and lives up here with her small daughter, mm -hmm. who's Oma. 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 That's Oma. Yeah. And just so great. I've had a wonderful mm -hmm. day. And Maya's returned from. Oh gosh. Um... I do an apprenticeship. It's a, it's a shamanic apprenticeship in the tradition of my northern Celtic ancestors. Um, so I'm training to be what's called Shan Wei, um, which is a pathfinder, a medicine person, um, a healer of some sort, but in a, in a very like ancestral tradition. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So there's mm -hmm. so much uh, good energy hmm. flying around here. Mm -hmm. There's um, you know, other people, and I need something so that my arm. I just helped. Um, <laughs> your arm's tired. Mary, Mary or Maria helped her <laughs> unload um, her camper off off of the truck, and there's a lot of like jacking, so my shoulders like <laughs> like giving out as I'm holding this thing. But uh, we got it done, and it's kind of like a little dodgy. I just make sure nobody. It's great because she's been trying to get that thing off of her camper so, for like, like three uh, weeks. Or yeah, 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 and yeah. I'm glad I was it's able great. to help. Thank you. Yay. Um, yeah. So we're in the bus and mm -hmm. got some salsa music playing, and just like. Um, you know, re getting the energies uh, <laughs> built back up from your day is very like that kind of works very exhausting. And... Yeah, you know, if we're doing we did a really big healing piece on somebody today, so uh, it takes some time to kind of come back out of that work because we put a lot of it, a lot mm -hmm. of ourselves into it. So I did some singing and some drumming and some cleaning and some salsa dancing, and now I which I think good. I think <laughs> sort of like says something about life in in general too is like. Not only, um, not only when you're like purposely healing um, maybe somebody, but but sometimes we tend to give uh, so much of ourselves mm -hmm. that it's important, like you said, come back and and work on yourself and build yourself back up because Absolutely. then we don't. If you if you're just constantly giving, then you don't have anything left to give, you know. Eventually, and then you're mm -hmm. then you, you're the one that's run down right and the thing that we talk about too in healing modalities is that whatever we see in somebody else whatever they're going through um it's in ourselves right so so yeah. i may be doing healing work on somebody and there may be a direction that i'm working with them but chances are that it's also in me so mm. the healing work is also done within um especially in animism uh animism is the is the belief that everything has that everything has connection everything has energy mm. you know this this cup is as alive as you and i because everything has that like the quantum physics sort exactly, of exactly exactly um and and you'll find animist traditions in most indigenous cultures or most of our own roots that go way back so in, in that belief system whatever work that we do on on other people is that on ourselves is also rippling out throughout the community so the mm. more that we can heal collectively um because none of us are like great healers that are going to help everyone, you know, we're, we're doing the totally, work for ourselves, totally. right? We all have to do it together. Yeah. Uh, and the more that we do the work, that work together, the more that it ripples out within the community. And uh, and then hopefully we all start to feel a little bit better. Yeah, so that's the that's the great thing for me being here. It's like, um, just ex that exact thing. I'm starting to put out this energy into the world and working on myself and it's bringing more like-minded people mm -hmm. to my life and which is, is make my life better, make their life better. Hopefully, you know, makes my children's life better, makes my neighbor's life better, makes everyone's life better. So. Mm -hmm. So, it's, yeah, yeah, basking in that uh, today. 
It's great, you know, I've been out at this spot a uh, month and a half or so in the woods and uh, and uh, and slowly more and more phenomenal people are coming. You know, I've got Marie yeah. and, and her baby, my goddaughter, and Virgil's come with his beautiful girls and, and we've got some friends down the way with, gosh, eight puppies. Yeah, and, little puppies, uh, they're so little cute. Tiny puppers. Three and a half week old puppies. They call oh, them puppers now. Puppers. <laughs> <laughs> kids so there's a whole puppies. lot of love here, you yeah, know, friend down the way with her two kids, and, and it's nice because we're all living in this like, you know, we're really trying to rewild and get back to this idea that we don't need a lot of stuff, we don't need a lot mm. of distractions, we can just be real with each other, we can have connection with the natural world, connection with the forest, with the animals, with the elements, we use as little as possible, right, just a little bit of power, a little bit of water, take care of one another. I hate this lady. Yeah. <laughs> Such good energy. Mm. Um, so I wanted to introduce you guys. And, um, yeah, so hopefully we'll see uh, more of Maya Wolf mm. in the future and, and uh, talk more about uh, what's going on with uh, her adventures mm. in the healing and, uh, and um, what effect maybe that it has on me and, mm. uh, and what you guys can take away from it um, as well. Mm. So thanks for checking in. Bye. Bye. <laughs>